the worst person you know just said something good. And Patrick Beverly, who, look, we've had some issues with Patrick Beverly and how he's handled situations. And we're not alone. I think a lot of people have, and that might be part of the reason he's not going to be in the NBA as much as he wants to spin it. But he continues to talk about the NBA, and he continues to talk about the Sacramento Kings. Not too long ago, about a month ago, he said something about the Kings getting – that was less than a month ago when he mentioned the Kings getting Julius Randle. And look, Chris and I, we don't listen to his podcast. We just see no. when he brings up King stuff. Maybe he's going around to every single team, right? What else could they be talking about? Maybe he, they did X factors for all the contenders. They okay. Did. Okay. They did. So he gets to the Kings and here was the name that he said would be, or could be the X factor for the Kings this season. Kevin Herter was my, was my first choice as X factor. If it, were, if it was the X factor for Sacramento Kings. You know what you go get from the Fox. You know what you go get from Sabonis. You know what you go get from DeMar DeRozan, even if he ain't even put on a Sacramento jersey yet. Kevin Herter, that's the X factor for them. Why? That's it. Because he's the he's the one person who can put the ball on the floor that can create and that can shoot a three. You feel me? But they got to let him hang a little bit. You got to shoot some shots that, you know, in, in, in training camp, some, 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 of them, some of them four point shots and miss. And run back like, you know, I don't give a f- that's my shot. He's the X factor for that Sacramento team. I also think he has that in there personality wise. Like we were just talking about that with yeah. Rui. I think that there are, you know, shreds of that that we've seen even when he was on Atlanta where it's like, oh, OK, he 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 doesn't give a f- like he'll give someone work. And like, right. It, 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 you need you want to you want to foster that side of it. And really, yeah, but he yeah. was hurt, too. He was hurt this past year because. You know, because we, we we saw that in Atlanta. Like, we saw a glimpse of that in Atlanta. But he was hurt this year, too. So, hopefully he comes back. He comes back healthy. But, yeah, he needs to let them things hang a little longer. For real. He got to in order for them to be successful. Number one, Nate, I need Kevin Herterer cut immediately. And that will be played. Yeah. That will be played. Herderer. Kevin Herterer was my was – <laughs> Kevin Herterer. Was- that needs to be played at least – 50 times this season, probably more. Look, man, you know, he had the finger thing, Chris, and I can't remember if that was his shooting hand or his offhand, but either way, it just, it's, it's part of the extremities that you use. And that was right when he was starting to cook a little bit, right? And he had a good game, every good two games, and then he had the finger thing, and then he really couldn't find his footing. And, you know, there was a little bit of heat on him with Keon Ellis playing well, and some of these guys playing well I think he easily could be the x factor because you open up that offense the way he can open up that offense now there are going to be a lot of lineups where it's we don't have a choice but to let Kevin Herter shoot and in theory that should be a very bad thing that should be a very bad situation if you are a team because Kevin Herter that's what he does he's he's a sniper so I, I think I think that Patrick Beverly could be onto something. I we, We've said things like this in some capacity. He's healthy. What I was going to say, Chris, is I saw somebody, not that I, necess- I we were having some fun with Brock Purdy, a.k.a. Quad Purdy. Somebody said it looks like Kevin Herter is a bit bigger. We will confirm during media day whether or not it looks like he's a little bit. Somebody said he's a little thicker to play that wing position. Cannot confirm or deny the pictures. It's hard to tell. But Patrick Beverly saying that Kevin Herter could be the X factor what did you think about it? Uh, it was a little bit strange. Kind of makes me feel like he doesn't watch the Kings a lot. He said Kevin Herter is the one person who can put the ball on yeah, the floor and create, and, create yeah. and that can shoot a three. Not the Kevin Herter I know, but I mean, also there's just there's other people on the team who can do that. So I don't really uh, fully agree. And I, I, I also, I mean, I don't disagree that Kevin can be an X factor. It's just not really where my mind would go. I don't think that Kevin Herter's shooting uh, – better necessarily is what I would pick as the thing that I think can change like, you know, the, the, the plus or minus three games uh, in the win column. I, th- I don't think Kevin Herter shooting really is, is what I would pick. I would probably go Keon Ellis as the X factor above Kevin Herter. I'd probably go Keegan as the X factor uh, above Kevin. I'm not saying Kevin doesn't have impact, but I just think that there is other people who can, realistically fill in the the limited role that that uh more so just the shooting that Kevin can bring if that's not there I think the Kings can still survive uh I don't know if they can survive if Keon Ellis isn't the guy that they need him to be if he's not the if he's not a 40 percent three-point shooter I think that's a bigger problem if Keegan Murray doesn't continue to get better and if he's not good on the defensive end to me that's a little bit more 
uh, of an X factor just because I think they have bigger impact than Kevin. I think if Kevin makes the shots, obviously it's really beneficial for Sacramento, but I don't know if I would say that that's the thing that uh, is the swing of whether or not they will be good or bad or not for this season. But I think I would say he could be an X factor, but I, I wouldn't, I again, just wouldn't go with him as the X factor, but I feel like, okay, they were a nine seed with a, pretty terrible season from Kevin Herter Mm -hmm. also filled with injury. If you slot in and, and I guess the question would be the level of X factor. Cause if you slot in that 2023 season from Mm -hmm. Kevin Herter and you put that into, let's say he just did the same thing back to back years. I feel like they probably wouldn't have been in the play. I mean, they would have been better last year, but yeah. moving forward, they have DeMar now. Like, I don't think they, okay. it doesn't, re- they don't rely on Kevin to score as much. Like, mm-hmm. it's not as important for him to be a scorer. And, and you know, obviously they need still need his shooting ability. They still need him to stretch the floor. But I just think it's not as a hundred, like the Kings needed Kevin Herter to be good last year in order for them to, to reach the level that they had reached the year before. I think obviously if Kevin Herter is good, it makes the team so much better, but I would think that they can still survive and, and be a seven, eight seed, even if you do get a disappointing season out of Kevin. And again, I would just say that there's a couple people that I would think uh, are a little bit more important to the day-to-day success, not saying Kevin isn't, but I just think, again, if Keon's having a bad season, I think that's more impactful than Kevin Herter having a bad season. If, if Keegan isn't meeting expectations, I think that's, more important than than uh, than Kevin Herter potentially not meeting expectations. I just think that those guys do more. They bring more. And this year, they're they're going to play more. Like, I don't know what exactly Kevin Herter's role is going to be this year moving forward. He's probably just going to be a guy, if he's not starting, coming off the bench, playing 15 or so minutes. He's going to make an impact. But I, I just think that other guys have a much bigger stamp on how the game gets resolved. Yeah. In a way, you could say that it's just too early to tell because we just haven't seen this team play before, right? We don't know how things are going to fit. It's funny that you say, you know, the impact of Keegan, and we know Keegan, it, they're different situations, but it is funny when you're talking about two guys that make a lot less money than than Kevin Herter, but that's how it goes sometimes, talking about Keegan Murray and, and one Keon Ellis and their impact and what their impact is going to be on this team. Obviously, Keegan Murray is about to get the bag and we'll see what happens with Keon and, you know, whenever that time comes. But as far as Kevin is concerned, yeah, I'm I'm not I heard or was- I'm not willing to completely disagree with Patrick Beverly as much as I want to. I just feel like we got to see how this thing I think it's I think it's possible. We just have to see how this thing looks, because it sounds like you just don't even know how much burn Kevin Herter is going to get, period. I mean, I think I, I have a good idea. I'd imagine he's going to play anywhere from 12 to 20 minutes. If he plays well, maybe he can scoot up to 25, but Malik's ahead of him on, on bench importance. And I do think that they're going to opt to, if Keon earns the starting spot, they're going to give Keon a, a ton of those opening minutes. And I would imagine it's either going to be Keon or or, uh, or Malik. That's the one finishing. So Kevin Herter's minutes are only really coming uh, with six minutes or less in the first quarter to probably uh, probably around the same time in the fourth quarter so yeah. I, I just I, I feel like his role by by just virtue is is going to be pretty limited at least more limited than what we've seen it in, in these past couple of years right L- last season they they needed the scoring last season yeah. and that's why they were able to make the playoffs two seasons ago yeah. when he did ball out yeah. now it's not necessarily that you do or don't want Kevin Herter to to ball out. It's that you don't know how much you need it. Last he's going to get asked to do less too. I yeah. mean, he's really just going to be asked to be a shooter. I mean, how many times last year were we saying, "Hey, Kevin needs to play defense." Hey, if he's not scoring, is he passing or is he is he driving the lane? Is he hitting floaters? Is he getting to the line? That's not really going to matter in his new role. His new role is really, from what I could guess, is is just going to be yeah, shoot that thing and and create as much space as possible. We really don't need you to put the ball on the deck. We don't, of course you can still cut and things like that, but it's not essential uh, for you to have as well-rounded of a game just because we have other people who are now filling those roles. And, and, uh, and yeah, we really just need Kevin to be great at what he's great at. So hopefully simplifying the game for him goes a long way. From the nine one six for me, the X factor this year is Keegan Fox, Sabonis, and Daronis are the main three. That is from 
JB. I think a lot of people would agree with that Keegan, that third year jump. When I think about the Keon Ellis part of this, Chris, I do wonder, let's say that Keon Ellis gets the two guard spot, right? If Keon Ellis gets the two guard spot, I do wonder how long his leash will be because the thing is, you know that defense doesn't slump. So even if Keon isn't making the three, which we know, we've talked about the Matisse Dibbles of the world and guys like that, that, you know, you really need them to at least be something on offense. If Keon Ellis, and I'm just looking at opportunities for Kevin Herter, if Keon Ellis is just ice, ice baby, right? He just cannot, cannot make a three. What's difficult to, to assume is if Keon Ellis isn't making his shots, you could bring Kevin Herter in. You know defense, that's a step back, right? You know you're going to take a step back defensively. And again, going to the DH comparison, you need Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter has to be hitting shots. So that's why I think there is a problem with the, well, if Keon is cold, then you go back to Kevin because Kevin has to – Keon Ellis has more of a more leeway because of his defense. Kevin on this team specifically, not last mm-hmm. season when it's Chris Duarte, you're trying to put out there. No disrespect. Hope he, hope he, you know, figures it on out in his future endeavors. But with Kevin, you go on to put him in. He has to be hitting because of what, and he's not a terrible defender, but you're adding in a DeMar DeRozan. Who, there's just a bunch of guys who you got De'Aaron, but at that wing position, it's Keegan and it, it could be tough, right? Or wing or that two position. So I'm trying to see a path. I'm actually, I'm kind of trying to disagree with you, but I think the issue is Keon Ellis and how much I think Mike Brown appreciates having somebody like Keon Ellis as a, as a tool on on the floor, Keon would have to be so cold that even defensively, it's not enough. And I don't know if and when it'll get there. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, he's he's been a great shooter his entire career so far. If if it goes bad, I mean, I'd assume they they uh, they're going to give him an opportunity to kind of right the ship. I mean, we saw last year they gave Kevin Herter a huge rope uh, to kind of figure out the three point struggles and. It really only took the 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 final blow of his shoulder being separated to to finally kind of take him out. And so I, I would imagine that if Keon is struggling to shoot, they'll they'll give him probably a month at least to try and figure it out. We've seen with other guys like Casey Akpala and Mo Harkless, they had about a five game leash. I think Keon has probably earned a little bit longer than that. He still is young. I think they've seen the proof of concept with the play in game. I would imagine they're going to get him a, a really big leash. And, you know, once I think that if, if Keon doesn't get that, if his starting spot gets taken over, I think it's an open competition. And, and maybe that's when everybody who's screaming for Malik Monk to start, maybe maybe that's when uh, they can maybe get their their uh, their their wishes granted. But I, I, I am fully expecting Keon to be fine. And uh, I think Keon's game is diverse enough to even if he isn't hitting three point shots, hopefully he can at least still uh, have some impact on the offensive end. Yeah, and and look, and we've seen Keon, you know, do more ball handling during summer league, and he's working on the playmaking as well. And here's the thing, X Factor, you know, or just somebody that is able to contribute. Kevin Herter, what is he, 26 years old, or or, or maybe just turned 27? He's still a young guy. There's nothing that says that he can't be that dude that elevates that second unit along with Malik Monk. When you look around at teams, just where the, whether it's FIBA or whatever the case is. They all have pretty legit – all the contenders have pretty legit starting fives. It's when it's time for the starting five to get a rest and you bring in that second unit. Who do you have on that second unit? And if Kevin Herter can be – you got Malik Monk cooking and doing his thing and then he's kicking out to Kevin Herter, this this could be a, a different version of being an X Factor where it's – there's not a better rotation of eight to ten players – in the West or their top three in the West, the Kings are when it comes to their rotation because of how well Kevin Herter is playing off the bench. So that is something that the Kings haven't had as well. And they could have moving forward coming up next. We take a trip around the NBA. Mikhail Bridges gets booed by Knicks fans as he gets set up by his Villanova teammate. It's just so sweet. Isn't it also Shaq is kind of being a hater. Now we'll tell you why styles and Watkins, Sacktown sports. What's the missing piece for the 